Good morning, everybody. Might be afternoon by now, actually. It's a Saturday. I'm at the shop by myself right now, but we're putting the heads on. We're putting the rest of the motor together and hopefully fire this monster up so you can hear it. Let's go. You really want to pay the price for going out drinking? Go out drinking and then have to work on heads all day long porting them. We're going to import face off to a drift event. Good morning, everybody. Might be afternoon by now, actually. It's a Saturday. I'm at the shop by myself right now. Desk Pop Dennis is coming in to help me out. It's a big car day. We're going to get this thing together. Maybe have it running today because I have a dyno appointment on Wednesday, which I canceled because my steering rack wasn't going to be here in time, but then my steering rack showed up early. So I hopefully still have a dyno appointment because I tried to remake it right after I canceled it, that kind of thing. But we're putting the heads on. We're putting the rest of the motor together. We're putting a whole bunch of big Holly performance parts on today, a bunch of MSD parts, and we're gonna finish all the brake lines and hopefully fire this monster up so you can hear it. Let's go. The heads are back. We got new valves, got Texas Speed valve springs, retainers, all that good stuff. It's got 243 valves in it. They're just a little bit bigger. I ported the heads, they're all dialed in. We're gonna put these bad boys in today, really excited. This is what I'm working on right now. Shitty light, it's dark under here, but if you see how this brake line runs out all whack and then hooks up right here, I'm going to move all this because you can also, can't really see here, but my tire hits right here and it rubs on this. This side, I already moved the banjo and directed it over this way, so I'm going around this side of the shock instead of going around the back side. Took this bracket off. I'm gonna bolt this dude right here. And this will come around like that, around the shock. So I have ultra clearance the whole time. This will be far away from my tires, because you can see on this side. Yeah, you can't see because I took the bracket off. One of these guys, that's where my tire's been rubbing. So this dude's gonna bolt, through bolt, right up to that section. And then I'm gonna run the fancy new fast line brake line kit up around in the inside and have lots of clearance. Brake lines are dialed if you can see them. Look at that. Got the wrong filter on this camera for this. But all this shit is done. Comes down, strapped into the frame, down around here, underneath, over to the other side. Everything looks nice and tight. It is time to put some lifters in. Big lifts. C7 lifters from Texas Speed. Going on a gigantic Texas Speed V2 cam with a 629 lift. It's probably going to sound ridiculous. See if they hold them in there, it should. Oh, these are tight, dude. That's how it's supposed to be. These things notoriously wear themselves out. I guess I could start putting those bushings together in the roller rockers or face figure out how to do that. They tight like a tiger, eh? Yeah, it's supposed to be. One down. Several to go. Shitload to go. We're about to put these fancy bushing things in. I don't know what they're called how they go into these guys but I guess I'm gonna figure it out about now apparently the needle bearings in these which I don't understand why anybody would ever want to go from a needle bearing to a plane bearing but apparently the needle bearings shit needles out and then they go down to the motor and they decimate the motor and that's a common thing which is gnarly this is the section that you got to push out right here put it on a 7 8 socket 9 16 socket boom beat her down through this is the shit that's inside it is a pretty uh lame setup for needle bearings actually but yeah i'm beating all these dudes out and then kind of going from there look at these bad mothers that is a badass head gasket. It's time. A little head time, Dennis? Head time. You ever seen a man stand in a car? <laughs> Got in front of this car is 27 feet long past the motor, so. Man, that is a badass head gasket. I'm like the mesh carbon fiber or faker rat shit that was on there. The motor build before. She was a junker. 
Should be pretty badass. You ready for it? I'm ready. Let's go. Them some big ass ports right there. Let me see them valves. Big old double stacked springs. Texas Speed Springs. A little bit bigger valves. We open them dudes up quite a bit too. Not a lot you can do with them. Just open them up a bit and clean up the some of the sharp edges. Man, she's a good looking head. I worked long and hard on those things. Yeah, like fucking weeks straight hung porting. Over, hung over once. Oh, brutally hung over one day. <laughs> brutally hung over and then had to spend a whole day head porting. That was an absolute nightmare. It's a great time. What are you talking yeah. about? You really want to pay the price for going out drinking? Go out drinking and then have to work on heads all day long porting them. <laughs> Woo! All day. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Got some nice ARP head bolts. ARP head bolts have a different torque than stock head bolts. Everyone should know this. Don't go torquing them to stock. Manufacturer spec torque because you will fork things up. And you don't use Loctite. <laughs> Last bastards that work in this motor Loctite the heads in. That was brutal. We still gotta put the motor rounds back, bolted back together yeah. too. Man, this thing's gonna be bad. I cannot wait. The washer's going dry. Lubricant goes under the head of the bolt. They're textured so that it clamps into the head and it doesn't spin just the bolt turns so you get accurate torque. Damn, Harley should catch on board with that. That's fancy. This thing's gonna be bad. She could be one rowdy vet. Hopefully get to drive it someday soon. It's been down more than I've been driving her, but pretty much have gone through everything to make sure that everything is not going down on me anymore. I don't want her going down on me. I just want to show with my friends, man. Sometime in April, I gotta drive this thing at LS Fest. Big open heads with a gigantic cam. This thing should sound real aggressive. We're also putting a gigantic intake manifold and a gigantic throttle body on it. And gigantic lifters. Got a bit of a theme going? I do, it's gigantic. This is a gigantic motor build. Still gonna be a 5.7 LS, which, you know what, I kinda like. I was like, you should've went to a 383 stroker and spent $10,000. I didn't want to. I pretty much built this whole motor a couple grand. I'm into this whole thing. Head work I did myself, so that was a lot of money saved, but I don't recommend it because it's a shitload of work and you really need to know what you're doing. I'm sponsored by Holly, so all the Holly performance parts were pretty much free, which was also real nice. I just had to buy all the Texas Speed stuff for like 2 Gs. And a small motor revs faster, in most cases. A 5.7 is still a hell of a lot more motor than anything I'm used to in a car. I've been running 4 cylinders and shit like that my whole life. Turboed ones, but just with all the different lengths. So they're short and long, and depending on where you're at on the head, Ooh, we'll go through that. Oh, I see. Some are deeper than others, eh? Yeah. I am putting the bushing things together right now. There is a gigantic pile of C-clips. If you could pan over this way, my lovely assistant. And if any of you know this channel well, you know that I really enjoy working with C-clips. Yeah, I say it brightens up my day more than anything, to be honest with you. These little brass guys slide in. This dude slides in there. You set them like so, you dip another brass guy in the old goo there, slide them on in there, and then we gotta C-clip that guy. I am using some Klotz Racing 60 weight full synthetic to do this with. That's what we run in our stunt bikes and motorcycles. It's real thick and it just happened to be an open jug sitting on the shelf, so that's what I'm using. It's damn near like assembly lube. Once you got that in, you flip it over real gingerly. Grab another C-clip out of the gigantic pile of C-clips because there's 150 of these sons of bitches to put in. C-clip her up. Now you've got one hell of a fancy roller rocker. Real gooey. And that's that. Final heads being torqued. We're going to mock up the intake manifold after this and see where the steam tubes line up because I'm going to have to make mounts for the aftermarket steam tube setup we're going to put in this thing which relieves little air bubbles from the heads which relieves hot spots which helps cool the motor from the factory setup which is kind of shit. We're going to have to build that stuff so we need to mock up the intake manifold to make sure everything's going to clear. Now it is time to mock up this big old dick swinger right here. The MSD Atomic Air Force. Yeah, oh shit. She's stout. I'm pretty excited for this. Yep, that looks gnarly. I hope my hood clears it. Let's go. I got plenty of room for the steam ports right there up front. They go into these guys right there. Uh, yeah, that's considerable. I think it's doable. Definitely got lots on this side. 
Man, look at that monster. Look at the hole. That's a big enough hole for me to fill right there. Jesus, dude, that thing looks ridiculous. That is huge. I don't, I don't know if my hood's gonna clear that. I'm gonna be real honest. Well, we'll see. It is huge. Medium-sized dick hole right there. I don't think my hood's gonna clear that. I got that weird-ass hood. <laughs> I guess you're driving no hood. You might as well show it off. You got all this time in it, you might as well floss a little bit. Holy shit. Dick swinging shit. Man, let's stick an intake manifold up to the front of that and see how she looks. Or an intake manifold. A gigantic throttle body. Look at this beast. 102 millimeters of power. Jesus Christ, I'll suck a donkey's dick. Look at that thing. That is forking huge. F dude, I almost guarantee my hood's not clearing that. Dude, look from the side. I got those weird ducks. I know. This thing might be hoodless. <laughs> so good. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that going to clear? I mean, that looks, uh, not promising. <laughs> this is the steam tube block off plate. So the the LS1 and the Corvette only runs the back tubes, which you want to link all four of them together and then run them back to the radiator. But this one just has a block off plate. So I'm going to run a drill bit down through this hole, out the backside, drill a pilot. Then I'm going to drill it to like 2164. So we're going to tap it to 8th inch MPT. And then we're going to put some fittings in this and then plumb everything all together. If I don't break the drill bit off inside this thing. Oh, easy peasy. Nice little tiny pilot hole. I'm going to take that down to 2164. There it is, an adapter kit. Good morning. It's Sunday or Saturday? Sunday. It is Sunday, we worked all day Saturday. Man, I officially haven't had a day off in three weeks now. Here we are, heads are on. Dennis is going to work on the steering rack and all this jive down here. It's a mess and I am going to finish these steam pipes I got to build brackets for the back steam pipes adapters that go into the heads I'm gonna do that should be pretty quick we're gonna try and put like an hour maybe two at the very most of work into this today because we're going to import face off to a drift event Bruce is the only one of us that is driving because all of our cars are down but we're gonna go support the homie and watch hang out and probably do some ride-along stuff should be a good time Look at that pretty thing. Looks pretty nice for a Yamazon special. Just spray painted the whole thing. Bushings and all. <laughs> this is the steam tube that goes on the back. I got to cut these dudes off of here and then tap, cut these off and tap these holes to eighth inch MPT. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be doable, hopefully. So catastrophic news, my tap just snapped off. Big, thick, really thick tap. And I'd already tapped this, I was just running it through for a second time, just like turning it through, and it went and just peeled off inside my shit. I can't even believe it. It was already done too. And there she is. I guarantee you I'm not finding another one of them steam plug things right there because they don't make shit for these old Corvettes anymore. And I don't have another tap, so I'm gonna try and heat this son of a bitch up real hot and chisel it out. Hope for the best. Mind blown. Mind blown, I tell you. That is a real brittle tap. I even had some sticking out and I grabbed a hold of it to just see if I could twist a little bit. When I grabbed it with the pliers, it just broke off. So maybe it was time for a new tap, I guess. Probably had that one for 10 plus years. More? Come on, baby. Let's walk out of here for me. Oh, you motherfucker. You gotta be kidding me. I welded this guy onto it, which was a task. I probably should have showed you, but I was in the moment.
custom. Well, at least this one is done. Just need to put the fitting in it. I'll probably have to do a little weld around the outside of the fitting to get it to seal up nicely, but what a pain in the ass. Well, that's a wrap. We're getting the hell out of here. It's uh, 10 o'clock. We're heading to Thunderbird Motorsports Park to go do a little drift action with Bruce. We'll check in with you there. What's going on, dude? What's up, dude? You been out yet? Oh, yeah. That's sick. We're switching. Yeah. Kids, you remember? Yeah. Oh, I do remember. I can't remember. So they come down, the, come down the straightaway, and you initiate, and you come about come around and do a big old fat turn and launch you down the backside. It's like third gear in the first turn then? Honestly, yeah. Good. Some guys go uh, the double entry. warm up this, the track so I'm like kind of on and off right now so yeah when we first got out there I felt like I had a thousand horsepower yeah yeah that thing was slick yeah it looks greasy slick out there yeah. everybody's sliding yeah you easy. see it it's that same shit that was on Radford huh yeah but it's it's nice because it's a lot open yeah and I feel like it's more consistent here yeah than it is there yeah That's why we commit this time, it was just like on ice, the car just off. I was like, that car just done. When you guys are coming around over there, it was just pieces. They're oh, flinging yeah. everywhere off the car, like a big old band of shit was going everywhere. See the other side? The other side of the car? Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, that was a blast!